For decades, coal has been the foundation of an industry cluster in southwestern Virginia. But factors such as regulation, competition from natural gas, and global economic conditions have made an entire region suffer as coal mines announce furloughs and layoffs, and other businesses in the supply chain brace for cutbacks. One way to deal with the problem is to focus specifically on the industry. You get north of Richmond or anywhere up there, nobody realizes the importance of coal. They turn on their light switch, lights go on, everybody's happy. But speaking at a conference in Big Stone Gap, two Virginia Tech experts urged leaders to look at how coal fits within the region's economy. Whitney Bonham and Dave Nutter shared what emerges when you put an economic developer's lens on the region. So what we did is we worked backwards from the May employment number from the sector, and we took out um, what we believe to be a reasonable estimate. Depending on the magnitude of the decline, the region could see lost earnings of $50 million to $158 million. The analysis estimates some 60 related and supported industries could be hit. Even service and health care would not be spared. Again, this is not meant to cause a tremendous amount of alarm because it is very preliminary. How can the community prepare? By working together to create a healthier economy. Money's not going to solve this problem. Money's going to be part of it, but it's going to be about community leadership. But ultimately, the coal industry has got to lead. Um, this is not a government answer, uh, but government can assist. Industry and community leaders appreciated the candid snapshot. Um, I enjoyed the uh, statistics that they gave. There's statistics that we never see, and they were focused directly on our region and our impact into our region. We need to embrace what changes that we know are coming. If we don't, then we're not a 21st century employer. For Outreach and International Affairs, this is Andrea Brunet reporting.